All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to Yahweh across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and maturity. And um, I was just watching this lesson with um, that our elder apostle Tahar did on, um, as you can see here, having your, your conversation honest among the Gentiles. You know, and this is a very big thing with Jake, you know, um, because like, like I always say, man, the Lord didn't call us um, into this truth to be black dudes with garments on, man. The Lord called us into this truth to reformulate our minds and spirits, all right, to become honest and have our conversation honest amongst the Gentiles. And I believe when you go into that word honest, let me see, or the conversation, Let's get it real quick. Let's go here real quick. Honest. Let's pull it up. We'll go into that word conversation. Yep, and it is anastrophe. Strong's G391. Anastrafe. Anastrafe. And it says your manner of life, your conduct, your behavior, your deportment. Let's see what they got down here in the Strong's. Behavior and conversation. All right, so we are to have an honest. All right, our conversation should be honest. Our conduct is what it's meaning. And this is what the Lord gave us this truth for, man, because it it actually shields us all right, from uh, Esau, for the most part, while we're down here in this uh, hellhole. All right, because what? We're ultimately subject to the higher powers anyway. Okay. So let's get that real quick. This is Romans. And it's not going to be too long because we have to do, <laughs> according to these laws, man, we should have our license. We should have our ID. You know, we should be walking uprightly in the society. When we go out in public, we shouldn't be making a fool out of ourselves and out of brothers. We shouldn't be causing scenes. You're doing that. If you're doing any of those things, you're not walking honestly. Your conversation is not an honest report. It's not going to be an honest report about you. And ultimately, it, it does what? It, it, it puts a bad name on the camp. And that's why Apostle Dahar says it, man. Watch how you're moving out here when you're not around the brothers and watch how you're moving out here when what when you're not teaching. All right, your conduct amongst people out in public. We have to be found blameless. <laughs> As the scripture says, you know, Lord willing, if our conversation or our conduct, all right, our behavior, all right, it has to be found blameless, man. All right, so follow the ordinance of this law of this uh, of this land, as the, as the scripture says. All right, so that what you may be found blameless, Lord willing. Romans thirteen and one: Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. The powers that set up Esau, these other heathen nations, <laughs> they have been set up by Yahweh Bashem Shai, man. Okay, so you do your best as an Israelite, understanding this truth, all right, you do your best to what? Maintain your uh, behavior, your conduct. You see, this is what the Lord gave us this truth for as well, man, so that we can walk what? Uprightly amongst the Gentiles, walk uprightly amongst who? The wicked of our people. All right, and that's automatically through the spirit going to separate you from them be believing and thinking you know, ultimately they're gonna they're gonna still think you're a nigga, but there's far more punishment for a, a nigga with bad conduct, a nigga with bad behavior. <laughs> you see, so the Lord gave us a kind of a, a buffering, a, a loop to get us and put, get us through the society, All right? And He gave us the law, statutes, and the commandments. And he gave us the spirit. All right? He gave us faith, which ultimately what is it, 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 it stems into you what walking uprightly. Before the Gentiles, which is an honest conversation, honest behavior, 
All right, because we make ourselves subject to this society and we do what the Lord and we do what this society wants us to do because it's ordained of the Lord anyway. Let's get a scripture real quick. Even the Lord said it, man. You got to go to work, go, take your ass to work. That don't got nothing to do with you serving the Lord. The Lord said it. Let's see. Um, render to Caesar. You got Jakes and stuff that don't want to work, and you know, every, like the like like the apostle said a long time ago, everybody should have a job, everybody should have some type of hustle, everybody should have their license, their ID, okay? Or what? You're gonna be making you gonna your your report or your uh your conduct is is really not uh, is dishonest because you ain't following, the, you're not doing what the, the 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 higher power says. It's ordained by the Lord, so you ain't obeying the Lord, man. Luke 20. And I don't even want to make this long, man. <laughs> Apostle Zahar always has to go over this every now and then. Because Jake still don't get it, man. You ain't no black m dude in the truth, man. You ain't no African-American, Puerto Rican, Mexican with no garment on, man. You're an Israelite. You have standards about yourself. How can you say you're an Israelite, but you don't even take care of your own house? You don't even take care of your own self. You don't even improve your behavior. You see, the Lord gave you this truth so you can improve yourself. You see? To the best of your ability, of course, because we're always going to catch hell when we're in captivity. All right. But you make the best out of what the Lord gives you. All right. Luke 20. Um, Let's see here. It's at 25. Let's see. Let's go down. <laughs> This is um, Luke 20, 20. And they watched him, talk about Yahweh Shai, and sent forth spies which should feign themselves just men, that they might take hold of his words, that so they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor, an Edomite. Yahweh Shai wasn't scared because what? His conversation was upright. It was it was honest, which is why what? There was an example, which I think I pulled it up, of Pilate said, I find this man, I find this man innocent. That should be us. If you find if you walking after Yahweh Shai, that's how the so-called white man's gonna look at you. It says when a when a man's ways please the Lord, even his enemies are at peace with him. Um, let's see. Luke twenty twenty, and they watched him and sent forth spies which should feign themselves just men, that they might take hold of his words. That so they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor. And he asked him, saying, Master, we know that thou sayest and teachest rightly. Neither acceptest thou the person of any, but teachest thou teachest the way of the Most High truly. Is it lawful for us to give tribute unto Caesar or no? But he perceived their craftiness and said unto them, Why tempt ye me? Show me a penny. Whose image and subscription hath it? They answered and said, Caesar's. And he said unto them, render therefore unto Caesar's the things which be Caesar's. Go and take your ass to work. Pay your bills. Pay, Get your license in order. Get your your, your your ID. If you can't get your license, get your ID. Okay. Get a job. Work like a regular citizen. Now, this is another thing, man. Jake don't, you know, certain Jake, certain Jake I don't know. It's just in the spirits, not to anybody in specific. But certain Jake don't like to work. Do you know that in every society... <laughs> Every functioning society and nation, even Israel, it's a working class. Everybody is working. That's why there's a law that says if that if you have a lazy son, that if he doesn't work and you tell him after time and time again and he don't work, that you have to put his ass to death. Why? Because a functioning society has uh, 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 civilians and people that work to contribute to the society or the nation that they live in. There's no sitting around, man. That's a law. There's actually, yes, there's a law in the scriptures where it says, roughly paraphrased, if you have a lazy son, <laughs> all right, that if he doesn't work or do nothing, you put his ass to death. That's in the scriptures. Hold on, let me see if I can find it, man. You people don't know the Bible, man. Let's see here real quick. Um, let's see. Let's just type lazy son. It should come up. Um, let's see here. 
The Lord ain't dealing with that laziness, man. Now, we've all, you know, we all get a little lazy every now and then, of course. It's a balance. That don't mean that you, that doesn't mean that that takes away from what? Your honest reporting in society, your honest conversation, your behavior, all right? Your, your, your productivity, all right, as an actual man working, paying your bills, so on and so forth, walking honestly, all right? Behaving yourself, knowing how to talk to people in public. Now, let me see if I can get this, um... Let's see if I can find this law. Um, let's see. Let me pause this real quick. Okay, I'm gonna grab this real quick. This is uh Deuteronomy chapter twenty one. And 18, it says, if a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which you see a lot of these niggas out on the street are, they don't want to work, they want to just smoke weed all day, they want to just do drugs, and f have sex with women, game bang, <laughs> or just ch chill out, don't want to do nothing, they want to make, they want to rap, ain't nothing wrong with that, but <laughs> Jake doesn't want to become a normal citizen, Jake doesn't want to become a, a, a man, Man works. Man goes. Man pays bills. Yes, man has a little fun every now and then because he has the rights. Because he actually works. Paul said it. If a man don't work, he should not eat. You know, and that's the spirit because it was just being said in our, uh, you know, in our little message for our camp. And, you know, an apostle Dehar came with this video. All right, you being honest amongst the Gentiles, what it goes into what. You take care of your business as a man in this society to the best of your ability, man. You don't be just sitting around, man. All right, just like a lot of our people do that are not in the truth. All right, which is why they get into all that goddamn mischief they get into because they're not doing anything. They don't listen to nobody. Luke 21 and 18, if a man have a stubborn and rebellious son... Which will not obey the voice of his father. Go outside and work. Go work. Go do this. Go get your stuff together. It's a lot of our the men of our nation that don't want to get their shit together, man. This says, or the voice of his mother, and that when they have chastened him, will not hearken unto them. Won't listen. Won't do what they say. Won't even get a job at least. <laughs> Just wants to sit home, run the streets, you know, so on and so forth. Do, you know, it can be on an, in another aspect. You know, wants to go party all the time. <laughs> right. Wants to come home in the morning, just go to sleep, lay around all day. It says, Then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of his city and unto the gates of his place. And they shall say unto the elders of his city, This is our son. This our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. And all the men of his city shall stone him with stones that he dies. See? I didn't write this. <laughs> you have a rebellious son that don't want to work, don't want to go do nothing, that don't want to walk honestly or uprightly. All right, back in the ancient world, according to our customs, this he would have to be stoned to death because that would get that unproductivity out of our nation, that evil. It says, and all the men of his city shall stone him with stones that he die. So shalt thou put away, put evil away from among you, and all Israel shall hear and fear. See. So we're, we are to be as productive as we can because the Lord gave us his truth. We should be extra productive. We're, we're over everyone really in this society. <laughs> you see? We can plan our way through things righteously. You know? And that's what the Lord... The Lord that's, that's us walking uprightly, man. All right? Staying out of the way of trouble. All right? For uh, giving them nothing bad to say about us. Okay? And the Lord said it. Let's read it again. Luke 20 and 24 because they wanted to trip him up. <laughs> Tip the Lord. Show me a penny. This is what the Lord said. Whose image and subscription hath it? They answered and said Caesar's. And he said unto them, render therefore unto Caesar's the things which be Caesar's. And unto the most high the things which be the most high. So go to work. Pay your bills. And serve the Lord first and foremost. I don't got nothing to do with your bills. You still got to go to work. <laughs> these fake ass Christians go to work. These these Muslims go to work. <laughs> you see? 
How much more are you having the complete uh, truth of this reality through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel Yashai, the spirit of prophecy? You still got to go to work too. You see? Now let's go jump over. Uh, let's go to um, Titus 2. Titus 2 and 7. In all things... Let's start at 6. Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded. In all things showing thyself a pattern of good works. In doctrine showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned. That he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed having no evil thing to say of you. Alright, so we're supposed to be blameless. That goes into be, being blameless again, man. And I don't want to make this too long because it's just, you know, the apostle wanted to hit on some things in his, in his lesson. Alright, how we should be behaving ourselves having our conversation honest amongst the gentiles man see first peter's 2 first peter's 2 and 11 dearly beloved i beseech you or beg you as strangers and pilgrims abstain from fleshly lust which war against the soul, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which is what you're going to practice when you're really in the spirit, and even in this society, good works, this uh, 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 being at peace with all men <laughs> in this society, which they shall behold, glorify the Most High, Most High in the day of visitation. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers, read Romans 13, and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of the Most High that with well doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. See? As free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness. But as the servants of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Shai, man, that is our duty, man. The Lord said this will keep us in peace, man. This will give you loopholes through the society. Walking in wisdom, walking uprightly. Romans 13 and 1, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. Who set up? Esau. All right. For there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, you resist be, getting your ass up and working like everybody else does every morning. <laughs> you just teach the scriptures. You just sit at home, teach the scriptures. Drink. <laughs> you know, whatever you may do, just chilling at home. All right, you are to get a job. You are to do what? You are to watch how you're walking in this society. Because what? You're gonna have a lot of demonization come out in these last days, and they're trying to blame it on us. They're trying. We're trying to. We're, they're trying to be blame us. All right. Having these different crisis actors with dreads and you know uh, uh, sh niggas going up to Mike Tyson, Shalom. That ain't no. We don't do that stuff because that's not. We don't. We we walk with wisdom. This is how you're going to separate the true believers from all these fake ass niggas out here that say they're Israelites. These all these different camps and shit, man. Because I'll tell you in the last days, man, <laughs> a, a lot of niggas have been have woken up to the fact that they, it, they're Israelites in these last days. And we are not so. Why? Because we understand the, the complete truth, man. We understand how we should be walking. We understand how we should speak among, amongst men. We understand that we're supposed to be at peace with all men. If possible. This is us walking honestly among the Gentiles, man. Having our conversation honest, our behavior, our conduct. Romans 13 and 4. For 3, verse 3, excuse me. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Would thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister, talk about Esau, for he is the minister of the Most High to thee for good. So if you're doing your stuff in the society, the Lord is going to use Esau to give you things, give you things and, and, get, and say good things about you. Let me get something real quick. Let 
the Lord literally gave us the map to navigate in this captivity, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, which are these scriptures. Let's go to Proverbs 16 and 7. When a man's ways please the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, the Lord, he, he, the Lord, maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. So the Lord will make your enemies to be at peace with you. And then I'm going to show you the ultimate form of that through Yahweh Shai, man. Let's get a little bit more of this. Romans 13 and... For, for he is the minister of the Most High to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. Because we're going to be numbered with the transgressors, just like Yahweh was. But what's going to separate you in the eyes of your enemy from a nigga with a garment? A nigga from ISUBK, a nigga from IUIC, or all these other different Negro in a garment camps. Hispanic in a garment camps. What's going to separate you? This, this, the spirit of Yahweh the spirit of understanding, wisdom, knowledge, discernment, discretion. Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. The Lord has given us all this wisdom. All right. Romans 13 and 4. For he is the minister of the Most High to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of the Most High, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. So all these other camps out here, this is why Apostle Tahar does these exhortations. All right, he gives us uh, uh, the breakdown and, and the um, the loopholes on how to navigate through the society and make it and, and make it less less worrisome for us. All right, keeps us out of trouble, helps us uh, 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 helps us uh, basically fix our behavior. So that it is honest among the Gentiles, man. This is what the Lord, this is what Apostle Heart does, man. Every now and then he'll come out with these videos. Every every brother should have a license, a ID, your car, a job. <laughs> so you don't just look like a nigga in a garment, man. Proverbs, um, Slagia. Romans 13. And for wherefore you must needs be subject. <laughs> you must needs be subject. Ain't no I don't wanna go to listen to wife and go to work. Man, ain't none of that, man. Take your ass to work. Go get your ID. Go get your light driver's license. And keep your life simple. Go to work like uh like the elder Manata Zakba says in South Carolina, man. Do the work, go to work, take your ass home. In between you got you have your you have your little woman or whatever. You have you get your little drink or whatever, and that's it, man. <laughs> you know, following the Lord is extremely simple, and you only make it hard when you don't you don't obey what is being told. You don't sit down and think about things, man. Romans thirteen and five. Wherefore ye must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience' sake. See. For this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. O no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Now look. Let's read this real quick. This is about our Lord. We'll just read down to 24. Matthews. Now listen to this. Matthews 27. You know, let's pull this up on um, the blue letter. And I'm actually about to go to slavery now. <laughs> We're subject to this. We're subject to payments. All right. We're subject to working. We're subject to being obedient to the powers that are ordained according to Romans the 13th chapter. You have a lot of uh, Israelites that woke up in the last days that are disorderly to this society, carrying around guns at camp. All right, what do you need? A, what do you need that for, man? What else? Uh, uh, going to the gun range. Now, there's nothing wrong with having your own little, you know, firearm. Make sure it's licensed by him. It's uh, ma that's one of his ordinances. All right, you would be walking uprightly if you go through him and get your stuff and you sit down and sit back. 
All right. Let's see here. You know, causing uproars in, in public. Going around, you're an Edomite. That's what a lot of the, you know, we, you know, you get that, you get that zeal when you first come in, you know, you want to curse everybody out, but then you kind of tone it back, man. You tone it down and you, you try to, you, you, you tap dance, so to speak, around the society through the spirit, through using wisdom. Let's see, Matthew's 27. Um. Uh, Matthew 27 and 1. Now listen to this. Let's put the red letters on. We'll read this and I got one more and we'll get out of here. Matthew 27 and 1. When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jehoshaphat to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor, the Edomite. Now listen to this. Then Judas, which had betrayed him when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priest and elders, saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? These wicked niggas. See thou, do, see thou to that. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. And the chief priest took the silver pieces and said, it is not lawful for it to put them into the treasury because it is the price of blood and they took counsel and brought brought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in wherefore the field was called the field of blood unto this day then was fulfilled that which was spoken by jeremiah the prophet saying and they took 30 pieces of silver and they took 30 pieces of silver the price of him that was valued whom they of the children of israel did value and gave them for the potter's field as the Lord appointed me. And Yahushua stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Art thou the king of the Jews? And Yahushua said unto him, Thou sayest. And when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou not how many things they witnessed against thee? And he answered him to never a word, insomuch that the governor marveled greatly. Now at that feast, the governor was wont to release unto the people a prisoner whom they would and they had a and they had then a notable prisoner called Barabbas therefore when they were gathered together Pilate said unto them whom will ye that I release unto you Barabbas or Yahweh Shai which is called the anointed for he knew that for envy they had delivered him when he was set down on the judgment seat his wife sent unto him saying have have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Yahweh Shai. So our people back then being wicked, wicked, they wanted a nigger right, over the Lord. Just as in this time, what our people would prefer who? These rap artists, all right, these celebrities, wicked ass celebrities. All right, or just a wicked nigga in general over one of us if we were to get locked up. And we got um, us, brothers, we have the truth. Shows you how wicked our people are, man. And it's that same vibration back again today. Because they're the same, it's that same generation. Matthew 27, 21, the governor answered and said unto them, Whether of the twain will ye that I release unto you? They said, Barabbas. So they wanted to, him, they wanted that nigga released instead of Yahushai, who did nothing, who came to save they black ass. Pilate saith unto them, What shall I do then with Yahweh, which is called the anointed? They all say unto him, Let him be crucified. It's wicked niggas, man. And the governor said, Why? What evil have he done? See? Even the Edomites said, What evil have he done? Why? Because his conversation Yahweh's conversation was honest amongst the Gentiles, man. And Pilate was at peace with Yahweh Shai. Let's see. When a man's ways please the Lord, Proverbs 16, 7. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Matthew 27, 23. And the governor said, Why? What evil hath he done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just just person uh, Edomite called Yahushua just let's, let's see what that word just means man 
Because why? East because Yahusha was walking honestly. <laughs> and he gave honest directions to how on how to walk in the society or amongst Esau, man. Render to Caesar's what Caesar's and render to Yahweh Shem Yashai what is Yahweh Shem Yashai, man. Let's see, just person. Righteous, observing divine laws in a wise sense, upright. Righteous, virtuous, keeping the commands of the Most High. Of those who seem to themselves to be righteous, who pride themselves to be righteous, who pride themselves in their virtues, whether real or imagined. Innocent, faultless, guiltless. Approved or acceptable of the Most High. See? In a narrower sense, rendering to each his due and that in a judicial sense, passing just judgment on others, whether expressed in words or shown by the manner of dealing with them. The way that Yahush that Pilate dealt with Yahusha, he in Pilate's mind, he saw Yahusha as a, a just person. Upright. He didn't see anything wrong. You got a lot of it and, and the apostle went through it, you know. Even um vocab alone, man. He's seeing all these other camps, but he did say, he said, yeah, you know, great millstone, they do imagine these things, but they never did the things. So it's a separation being made through the spirit. Because why? We are in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. These other camps, they're not. They're still in the spirit of a nigga or a black man with a garment on. So they're going to do the things that black niggas do and a Mexican and so, so and North, North uh, Native American niggas do. Even Vocab Malone is noticing a difference. Which, you know, he's still full of shit, you know, because he's saying we imagine things, you know, like violence and stuff. We don't imagine it is written it's going to happen in the kingdom. We're not the ones that are going to play it out because we have no power to do that. And why would we do that? <laughs> They'll put us in the fucking jail, though. Shoot us down. If the law, statutes, and commandments were what? Played out and, and uh, uh, used as a standard in the society. It's, it's not going to happen. We have to wait until the kingdom. But until the kingdom, what? We're supposed to be walking and having a, con a honest conversation among the Gentiles. And if you watch this video... He tells, he says that Great Millstone really doesn't do anything that these other camps does. See, let's go back, man. Even and even Pilate found Yahweh Shai um, innocent, a just person. This is the spirit that we want to have when we go, when we're brought before the magistrates, when we're brought before these governors to do what? To have a, a, a to have a honest conversation. You don't have that, you're going to be in fucking trouble. Period. This is life and death we playing with. <laughs> See, a lot of Jake don't know what they got themselves into, man. You can't come in the truth and still act like a nigga, man. Period. You're an Israelite. You're actually the standard of living on the earth. <laughs> you're above Esau's uh, way of life. Because Esau don't have a way of life. His is a way of death. See, so you have to carry your you carry yourself as such, man. To myself, first and foremost, Matthew 27, 24. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, "I am innocent of the blood of this of the blood of this just person." A Edomite called Yahweh just. See ye to it. Then look what these niggas said. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be upon us and on our children. And the blood is upon you niggas. That's why you niggas get shot down. That's why you niggas are in the slums, the ghettos. That's why you niggas sold out to Esau to get money in the society. Because you 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 wanted you wanted everything but Yahweh Shai, man. And this is that same generation back again. Look at these niggas around the earth, man. <laughs> Rap videos, uh harlotry, adultery. All right, lies from the from the greatest to the smallest of our people, man. All of them hated Yahweh Shai because they're outside of this spirit, outside of this doctrine, man. Lest they repent, and that's us walking honestly in a society, man, pleasing the Lord, making our enemies to be at peace with us. Yahweh Shai was the ultimate example because what? A governor, Pilate, all right, a Roman. Called our Lord a just man, man, and that's what Apostle Hart is going into, man. Having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, man. 
Now let's see what they got on the comment board. Um, they don't really have nothing on here. But you know that's really it, man. Lord willing, I was edifying. Call Allah, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity, and with charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball. And I'm gonna try to put this uh, video in the description box. Shalom.